What's going on guys? Tua Cruz here with my wife. And today we're here in the giant store of Nagoya, which is on the eastern side of Nagoya over in Nagakute, which is actually where we live. We actually came over here today to check out the new models, the 2019 models for the new giant Propel bikes. Um, there's a bunch of new bikes here apparently, so we made a review video for the new Propel if you're interested in checking the full video for that. Um, we'll add the link here. And anyway, we thought we'd show you guys a little bit around our um, local bike shop here, but this is also one of the biggest giant dealers here in Japan, so let's go around, check around, and see what they got lying around here. So when we enter the shop, we've got our three main bikes here on display right now. These are the new 2019 models, the new Giant Propel Advanced SL2 disc, topping out at over 10 grand, pretty beast of a bike. We've also got the model down here, the SL1 disc. We've also got Tung's dream bike, the Giant Sunweb Pro Team. <laughs> she first saw this bike when we were in Taiwan last month and fell in love, so Moving along, we've got a couple other road bikes in stock here. Uh, we've got lots of new models in right now, so it seems like they just all the new 2019 models are coming in. The new Contends, so about $800 for this one. A couple more beginner models here, Contend 2s, about $800 for a starter bike. Contend 1 over there as well. I've got a disc model. This is a pretty cool frame color here. We've got a couple of the Pro Giant Sunweb items here. Some of their shoes. Ne, kono pink helmet o kawaii ne. Kawaii ne. Tarashii helmet o kattara nan no iro ga ii? Eeeto, aka to ukuro no mitsu. We've got a lot more road bikes in line here. Some more propels. Uh, these are the old models, so pro tip, if you're looking for a cheap bike, you should shop around this season because this is when the new models are coming in stock and they're trying to get rid of old inventory, so you can see all of these bikes here are 10% off. Pretty sure they'll do a big uh, closeout inventory sale once they're trying to eliminate all of these bikes out and get the new models in. We've got our cyclocross bike here as well, TCX SLR2. And then we've got our mountain bike section. Ooh, this is a pretty cool color. Really small chain ring up front on this one. Looks like we've got some more comfort touring kind of road bikes here. Any roads. Some more downhill style bikes here. I haven't really done any downhill riding here in Japan yet, but I have done a bit of cross country riding. Apparently it's pretty popular, but hard for me to get to without a car right now to get to the trails. Here we go, some more road bikes, and you can see, let's take a look at the full shop right now. So from here, we're at the edge of the shop. You can see this place is pretty massive. We've only really shown you so far from the entrance to this section so far. Really nice open space compared to a lot of the more small cramped shops here. Looks like they get a bike over here for some bike fits. You can get a pro fit while you're here. Some more propels here. These are some more of the new models. We've got the Advanced 2. Much more reasonable price for these ones, so about 220,000 yen, about two grand. Shimano 105 with this model. The Propel Advanced 1. This one's Ultegra. One of the things that you lose going down from this model, from the other model to this model, a lot of this extra cable routing that's not routed inside the frame but rather going outside the frame we got some components on sale here dura ace altegra 105 tiagra you can check out the prices here compare see how those go back home pro race category it's pricey to be in the pro race category marking our way around the other corner let's see we've got a couple other lots and lots and lots of road bikes here way more than i can go over in this video lots of the new model stickers here though it's a pretty interesting blue and green one. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go check out some of the rest of the shop real quick. So here we've got some more casual lifestyle bikes. The Gravier. And some more hybrid cross bikes. These are the Escape models. Used to sell a lot of these when I worked at a, a giant shop part-time back in Michigan. 
pretty popular bike. Great bike for general commuting, general city riding. And, uh, oh wow, this is the bike that I was using when we were in Taiwan. This is the Giant Fast Road. Um, so me and my wife rented a couple of these bikes while we were in Taiwan doing our cycling tour. Actually a little bit pretty pricey, a bit over a grand for this bike, but really solid bike, nice stiff frame, disc brakes, and really solid ride for our touring rides. Some more Escape models here. Here we've got some of the mini bikes. I'm not too familiar with these. These are the Idioms. We've got the Idiom 1, about $750. And the Idiom 2, which seems to be the cheaper model, $600. These mini bikes here are really, really popular. These things that fold down just don't take up much space in your apartments. The apartments here are really small. We've also got our accessory corner. We've got our sunglasses, our helmets, should probably get some new helmets soon. My helmets are really old. Cycle wear, gloves, t-shirts, and then all of our other fun accessories. Some lights, trainers, tires, locks, tubes. Tubes here are pretty pricey though. These are about, what, 800 yen, so seven, eight bucks. Pretty pricey. Some more tires, more shoes pedals, everything that you could need, rack stuff, bags. So these are not too bad, about 5,000 yen for a frame bag, 50 bucks. Different water bottles, about 1,000 yen, 800 yen, seven, eight bucks. Hmm. And one of the last sections here is the women's corner, which they have actually expanded recently, so the live collection items. You'll notice we instantly change our color spectrum of the bikes here. And Tuong's actually not a big fan of women's bikes. She likes the men's colors more, but some nice designs here as well, if this is the kind of colors that you're into. The skirts here are also really popular here for riding, so most women here will wear a skirt over their shorts. Just sort of one of the differences here. Some different wear, some more helmet models, We've got a lot of pink colored shades here for the sunglasses. Some kind of cosmic designs going on here. This is a pretty cool frame color for this as well. Some of these bikes are really small though, but I guess a lot of the ladies here are pretty short. I guess they're going with the cosmic design for a lot of the live bikes right now. The new model, hard to see with the lighting, but kind of like a cosmic bowling center kind of look. There we go, we can see it a little bit better here. <laughs> here we go, almost Halloween here in Japan. Not really a popular holiday here unfortunately, but starting to grow in popularity a little bit recently. And last here we got our kids bike corner. We don't have any kids yet, so not looking for anything here right now, but nice to see that they've got a bit of something for everyone here. Standing in the center of the shop, really massive, massive, massive bike shop. Nice to have something like this so nearby where if we ever need anything really quickly like a tube, a tire, some equipment, some parts, can just come here and get it. Time for us to go. Getting pretty hungry. Friday night. Here we are checking out the outside of the shop. Tung's got her mama cherry getting ready to go. Right here at the intersection, the giant store. And it's time for us to go get some dinner. I actually don't have my uh, bike with me right now because we just rode down to another local bike shop here to drop off my bike for some repairs. My road bike, Kurokun, he's gonna be in the shop for some repairs for the next few weeks, but hopefully gonna be coming back soon so we can get in some more rides together. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more bike shop tours in Japan, Leave down some suggestions below, some bike shops that you'd like us to check out. Hopefully nearby in the Aichi Nagoya region since it's a bit difficult for us to go far right now. But we are hoping to travel soon into the Kyoto area, to the Tokyo area. And maybe we'll do some more bike shop tours when we're there. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on Tuo Cruise. Time to eat.
Bye-bye.